An ecologist monitored two populations of frogs, a hunter frog and a forager frog. At the start of this observation period, there were equal numbers of the two, so there's probably going to be a change. The easiest number to start with for both populations is always going to be 100. And then let's see what happens over this period. So we have, by the end of the week, the number of forager frogs had increased by 1,200%. So this is going to be a percentage trick they love to do. There's going to be three main types of percent changes. There's going to be of versus more than and increased by. So if it was 1200% of, that would mean you take your forager frogs and you times by 12, right? The reason why you times by 12 is because your percentages, you always divide by 100 before you do math with them. So that would turn this into times 12. But if it's ever increased by or more than, you add one. So instead of multiplying by 12 here, you would multiply by 13 because it's increased by. So forager frogs actually turns into 1300 total. And then let's see how the hunter frogs change. The hunter frogs increased by 400% divide by 100. So that just turns into four. And again, since if it was of, it would be times four. If it's increased by or 400% more than, it's gonna be times five. So we actually end up with 500 hunter frogs. And then finally, they want us to uh, find, or they say that hunter frogs are P percent less than the number of forager frogs. So first we get the numerical amount that's less, and that's going to be 1300 minus 500. So there's an 800 difference. And then you always divide by your total, the forager frogs. So if I divide 800 over 1300, I should get uh, 0.615 for or 61.54% for how much the hunter frogs are less than forager frogs.